Today we are going to be installing a DS emulator on your phone. And the best thing is, you don't even have to jailbreak your phone or anything. It's just as easy as setting it up and it's a one-time thing. So let's go ahead and get to it. So first things first, we're going to want to open our iPhone and open up Safari. And all you have to do is type in this address up here. I cannot link it in the bio for or in the description for obvious reason. But if you just follow this here, I'll leave it on the screen so it's easier to see. And so what you do after you get to this page right here, you'll open this and hit add to home screen. And then you can call it DS or DS emulator, just so I remember what it is. Hit add and it shows up on your screen. And that's all. And there's some updates and stuff like that. I can't tell you where to download games, obviously, and you have to own the games to be able to play them as well. But so what I usually do, you have to download the games to the file instead of just downloading it in general. And so I have New Super Mario here. And it has a little touch screen at the bottom. You can either use a circle pad or you can change that to a D-pad right here. You can swap the A and B and X and Y. You can change the way the screens are set up if, by turning the side on the phone. So that's one way you can change the layout. You can also take off the 30 FPS limit if your phone's more powerful. It just makes it run nicer. The only problem I really have is the audio is very correctly. But besides that, everything starts up. So let's go ahead and boot in. And yeah, see, the cutscene's turning on and working, and it's really nice, actually. I And it runs very smoothly. I don't think I've ever had, like, any frame drops or anything like that. If anything, if you turn off the FPS limiter, it actually makes it run better, I think. But let's just wait for it to load in. A few moments later. And here we are. Let's go here and turn off the 30 FPS limiter first of all. And then, yeah, we're in. Everything works. Obviously, the gamepad down here isn't, like, the best thing to use. But, yeah, everything works. And the best thing about this is you can connect a external controller and use that as the controller instead of having to, you know, use the virtual controller down here everything works it's pretty cool actually and there's a few other emulators that i'll show you guys in a later on video but that's basically just it's simple it's so simple just opening it up in safari and then just adding it to your home screen and it treats it like an app even though it's not it takes it to a web page and another cool thing is the web page is completely offline so you don't have to worry about having it like connect to the internet or anything for it to work because all the files will also be downloaded on this iphone rather than taking from Google Drive like a lot of the emulators do so you don't have to worry about any of that everything is completely offline which I thought was a really cool added benefit to that but yeah anyway thanks for watching this has been DS emulator and I'll see you next time check out some of our other videos too bye